this question has been taken from 2000 exam 2011 exam paper of NZQA exam or NCA exams of level 2 which is year 12 in New Zealand okay so let's read the question the temperature control in a second fridge is faulty so ignore the second it is continuing from a previous question the temperature <coughs> T degree centigrade inside this fridge T minutes after 8 a.m. can be modeled by a function of the form T is equal to A sine B T plus C where A, B, C are constant. In the fridge, the temperature varies between 1 degree centigrade and 7 degree centigrade. An alarm sounds continuously while the temperature in the fridge is above 7 degree centigrade. The alarm goes off 5 times in an hour. There are, that is, there are exactly five temperature cycles in one hour. Find the value of A, B, and C, and hence uh, the total length of time that the alarm sounds in one hour. So let's uh, first understand what is A, B, and C. A is the amplitude of the cycle of the sine curve. So I'll write A, M, P, amplitude, A for amplitude. B is the period. Or how many times uh, or how long does it take for one cycle or in other words you can also treat this B as in 360 degrees I'll come to that later C is the baseline BL for baseline so I've drawn a sine curve this is a sine curve which has a period of 360 so Y is equal to sine X this is the basic sine curve this has an amplitude of 1, okay, the maximum is 1, uh, minimum is negative 1, and baseline is 0. So, looking at this, you can make up this formula. Your baseline can be found by using the maximum and minimum. So, baseline is halfway between the maximum and minimum. So, I can say baseline is nothing but maximum plus minimum divided by 2. And your amplitude is base maximum minus baseline. So 1 minus 0 is 1. Your amplitude here is 1. Amplitude can be this, the distance from the baseline to the maximum, or the distance from the baseline to the minimum. Both are 1. So amplitude, amplitude is maximum minus baseline. So what is given, we know the maximum and minimum are maximum is 8 degree and minimum is uh, 1 degree so let me write so your baseline is maximum plus minimum divided by 2 which is 8 plus 1 divided by 2 which is 4.5 okay and your amplitude is maximum minus baseline which is 4.5 maximum is 8 maximum is 8 minus baseline which is 4.5 so your maximum amplitude is 3.5 so we have found your amplitude your a is let me change color your amplitude your a your a is uh, a is the amplitude which is 3.5 and your C is your baseline. So C is baseline is 4.5. Okay, now we want to find out B. B you can find from this information. It tells that uh, five cycles or five periods or five period take 60 minutes. Okay, so one period would take how many minutes would be one-fifth of this which is 12 minutes so one period takes 12 minutes so a sine curve has a period of 360 so here the coefficient is 1 that means the coefficient is 1 it goes it within 360 it goes once okay so yeah to find B I try I won't like to B is 360 divided by this 12 which is 30 so in other words when 
B is 30 means within 360 degrees or 360 minutes, in 360 minutes, okay, in 360 minutes or 360, yeah, in, yeah, it is in minutes. In 360 minutes, it goes 30 times. So, so for 30 periods, so if you think about this, for 30 periods, it takes how many minutes? Uh, so this is 12 times 30, which is 360. I hope you understand. Uh, I'm not confusing you. So one, the coefficient of one means it goes once in 360. If suppose y is equal to sine 2x means within 360 it will go twice. And if it is 30, this means the sine curve will go 30 times within 360. So in one pe the one the period of this uh, of this equation is 12. So the equation of so your a let me rewrite. So your a amplitude a amplitude is uh, amplitude is 3.5. B is 30. B is 30 and your C is your baseline which is 4.5. So the equation is Y is equal to 3.5 times sine 30x or 30t plus 4.5. So this is the equation. Okay, now the question is within uh, one hour, how many times will it go off? So Hence, the total length of time that alarm sounds in one hour. So let's use a calculator. So, or let me draw without the graphic calculator. So the sine curve would look like this. Then we'll check it on the calculator. So this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. So on the y-axis, you have got this is time t and this is temperature t. So yeah, your minimum is your minimum is one degree centigrade, and your maximum is eight degrees centigrade, and your baseline is 4.5. So this is not drawn to scale. So this is your zero zero. So this is one degree centigrade. This is eight degrees centigrade, and your baseline is 4.5. 4.5 degrees centigrade. You have a period, I'm drawing only one period of 12, so I'll draw intro, four intervals like this. So this is an interval of 12 minutes, so this is 6 minutes, so this is 3, and this is 9. Your sine curve starts at 0, 0. So this is your base, this is your maximum, this is your baseline, and this is your minimum. Okay. So here, this is, your, it reaches maximum 8 degrees at, after 3 minutes, baseline at 6 minutes, minimum of 1 degrees. So every 12 minutes, you have this curve, or let me use a green color, so your sine curve looks like this. So this is what I'm saying, within 360, it will go 30 times, okay, so this is, this 30 tells you that within 360 minutes, this will go 30 times. Okay. So, yeah, the question is when it is 7 degrees centigrade. So, 7 degrees here somewhere here. Yeah. This is a 7 degrees centigrade. So, for what duration will that? So, I'll draw a line. So, this is, oops draw this is a dotted line okay so the question is I'm going to drop an arrow from here to here so this is your t1 and this is your t2 t2 so your alarm will sound from t1 to t2 within 12 minutes so when the temperature is above 7 degrees the alarm will be set off. So we want to find what is T1 and T2 and we'll use a calculator. So this is less than 3 and this is less than 6. Somewhere this is about 4 minutes, 4 point something and this is 2 point something or 1 point something, whatever. 
we want to find T1 and T2, we can use, you can solve this, but we'll use a calculator to figure this out. And we'll also check whether our equation, our graph is right. So this is our equation, menu, go to graph, you're working in degrees. So first check whether your setting is in, uh, shift setup. This is in radians, so you need to change this into degrees. And then type in 3.5 sine bracket 30x. Uh, T is x here, yeah, plus 4.5. Hopefully, we are right. We need to ch set the scale. We'll set the scale from 0 to, say, 15 minutes. Anything more than 12 would do. And at an int scale of 3, OK? And we want to go, don't change the dot. It is from, say, 0 to 10 degrees or 10. Scale of 2 would do. And then see what the graph looks like. So this is your graph. OK. So to find T1 and T2, we, your x, we know your y value is 7. So you go G solve and find y calc when x is 7. So this is? When x is 7, it is, uh, OK. What have we done? OK. Uh, let us check this again. So delete uh, 3.5 sign. Your amplitude is? Uh, the amplitude, let me check, yeah, equation is 3.5, yeah, okay, draw, so this is 7 minutes, y calc when x is, no, oops, so we want to, this is mistake, we want to find the x calc, so your y is 7, yeah, that was a mistake, so it's 1.5 to when x, when y is 7, at 1.52, this is 1.52, and the next is 4.48. So we can say your T1 is 1.52 minutes, and your T2 is 4.48 minutes. So, so we'll find what is T2 minus T1. Okay, so menu run. 4.48 minus 1.52 within that is 2.96 minute so the alarm will go off for 2.96 minutes every 12 minute okay so we can say for 12 minutes for every 12 minutes the alarm goes off for 2.96 minutes so the question is in 60 minutes how long will the alarm go off? Okay, so this is, this is how, say this is x, say this is x. So this is times 12 times 5 is 60, so x would be 2.96 times 5. So 2.96 times 5 is 14.8 minutes. So alarm will go off for 14.8 minutes in one hour. So in one hour, the alarm will go off for, so the answer is, the answer here yeah, I'll write, uh, what was the answer? 14.8 minutes. So it is 14.8 minutes. I hope you can see my messy work and hopefully it has been